welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel balancing in human body balance you need to know some of the concepts uh, about balance number one you know about the stimulus there is speed and there is direction speed and direction that is one stimulus and then there is position of the head it's another stimulus so you need to know the receptor which is the cristae and the maculae in this regard then you need to know the location of these receptors where are they located in the ampulla of the semicircular canal then this one is located in the circulus and the utriculus and then you also need to know that when they change the stimulus into an impulse, then it's being sent to the brain. Which part of the brain? Cerebellum for interpretation. Remember that hearing is being sent to cerebrum, but this one goes to cerebellum for interpretation. So how do we explain this? So we are saying that change, now you're writing what is needed, like for example, in a paper. Change in the speed and direction of the head, comma, stimulates the cristae found in the ampulla of the semicircular canal. Comma, change in the position of the head stimulates the maculae found in the circulus and the utriculus. The stimuli is being converted into impulse, and the impulse is sent to the brain along the auditory nerve for interpretation. The stimulus is sent to cerebellum for interpretation to restore balance along the auditory nerves. So I repeat, change in the speed and direction of the head Stimulates the cristae from the ampulla of the semicircular canal. Comma. Change in the position of the head stimulates the maculae found in the circulars and the utriculars of the semicircular canal. The stimuli is being converted into an impulse, which is sent along the auditory nerve to cerebellum for interpretation to restore balance. Simple. What else do you need from there? Nothing, and that's what we need. So when you're writing, at least know how the flow. Sometimes they just bring a question whereby you just have to explain change in the speed and direction without the position of the head. Then it means that now you just take this route until you reach here. If they just bring position of the head without speed and direction, then you just take this route until you reach here. If they bring it, the question is open, then you have to take this route, and you take this route, then you combine them until you reach here. They have to ask questions you know. There is no way. They won't ask questions outside the scope. So, um, summary of balance. That is uh, what I've been trying to explain. The crystal in the semicircular canals are stimulated by change in the speed by change in the direction and the speed of movement. They are saying that uh, macula in the semicircular canal and utriculus are stimulated by change in the position of the head when stimulated. Then what happens? This crystal and the macula, yes, they convert the stimuli received into a nerve impulse or into nerve impulses. And then when they are transported along, which are transported along the auditory nerve to cerebellum for interpretation. So that uh, cerebellum then sends impulse to muscles to restore balance. That's it. Then you get your marks. You just get your marks. You don't need to waste time writing a lot of things. This is what we need. Make sure that what is highlighted, you don't miss them when you're writing your essay or when you're writing your question. Hearing defects, hearing defects, problems with hearing. So we have number one, the middle ear infection, middle ear infection. This is whereby 
excess fluid in the middle ear caused by pathogen infection. When you, call it, when you say pathogen, a pathogen is a disease-causing organism. For example, bacteria, uh, viruses. Yes, it's a, an organism which causes diseases is what's called a pathogen. So you're saying that excess fluid in middle ear caused by pathogen infection, specifically bacteria. Then how do we treat it? Because it's bacteria, then you have to apply uh, anti uh, uh, antibiotics. So number one, because there is a fluid which has been uh, formed, so we need to drain that fluid out. Therefore, we have to insert what you call a glomet. So you insert glomets. Number two, antibiotics. Antibiotics are for bacteria. So when you apply the antibiotics, then it means that the bacteria will be uh, killed. This is how it looks like. This is a grommet. And then we insert it so that now the fluid can be drained. So we bring this one, we put it there. So let's magnify it and then you see what is really happening. So when this one, you bring it here, when you magnify, this is the tympanic membrane. So this is the grommet. Now the fluid starts to come out of the tympanic membrane. And then you, you are able to drain it out. Then your ear will become fine again. Number two is deafness. Deafness, it, it might be partial deaf or it could be total deaf. Whereby, uh, if it's partial deaf, it means that you have difficulties with hearing. Total deaf, it means that you don't hear at all. It is caused by, number one, injury part of the ear, nerve, or parts of the brain responsible for hearing. So it means that now the brain can't interpret what is being received. Then hardening of the ear tissue, such as the oscos. It means that the oscos cannot move, cannot move, cannot change the pos their position. Then it automatically, the, uh, the vibration cannot be taken to of a window, so that is taken to the inner ear to be uh, detected by the organ of coating. Then treatment, how do you treat it? By using hearing aids. Hearing aids, like hope, you, you try to improve your hearing. Yes, number two, cochlear implant. So it depends on which, which part of the ear has been damaged, then it will apply whether you use a hearing aid or use the cochlear implant. This is what you call the hearing aid. Yes, it's, it's, it's like a microphone. So it's just aiding, aiding. It's helping you just to improve the hearing. And then the cochlear implant, they have to do a surgery on you. They have to cut, they have to do a surgery on you. They insert it. It means that now your ear is no longer used at all. So this is what you call the cochlear implant. This is just a tattoo, just trying to resemble the key. Thank you very much, guys, for watching our classes. We will be looking at other topic. Subscribe for new videos every single day. We publish videos to help you pass. We are looking for a way forward to make you pass and succeed in your life. Remember, my last said, 